Hey there, just a quick demonstration of how the ALF tones uh, work. So you can see here on this sheet, this is from a previous, previous commission, this is from Spider-Man. Uh, this is boots and his, this is his head and his hand. So I draw it like, this is the commission, right? This is halfway done in terms of ALF tones. And this one right now, you see, this is semi-transparent, so I can, I can really cut over it, but just it's more handy to just pick up the sheet and cut it on its own. So I drew it with a pencil, and now I've cut most of it already. I turn the sheet around just to get because the white paper uh, makes it much easier for me to see what I'm doing instead of having the competing lines of the drawing itself. So now I'm just missing this one over here. And we go like this. You know, it is. You don't need to worry about the paper. This is your commission. This is an original commission for. And I do this uh, because the 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 screen tone itself it's so thin that it doesn't need much pressure to being cut. So it doesn't even pass this part over here. You know, there are markings here, but it doesn't pass it. And now we just peel it carefully again because it is so thin it will just rip off it doesn't matter if it, if it rips off a little bit because you once you put it in place it just any imperfection or if a, a bit is a bit ripped off it's it doesn't show it just doesn't so now this this doesn't glue exactly uh like um you know like if it had actual glue it's more like the the surface adheres to paper fairly easily i just trying to lay it down so we can push it slightly you can see i can still move it once i press on it it will not move but i can remove it so i need to push a little bit down it's a job of precision and of it requires you to be calm and do not rush it because if you rush it you will 100% rip it and then you have to make a new one you can take this off as many times as you want it will not damage paper again because it has no glue whatsoever i won't demonstrate because well if i take it off it loses some of the property and i'd, I'd have to do a new one but you can you just lift it up you know with the, the knife and that's it you see now i i use the other this is a this one is is, is uh, done on purpose with its design for this type of of work you can of course cut whatever you want with this exato knife but it's done on purpose for this type of job now you're looking at this and thinking well there's the fingers over there how are you gonna do it i could have cut that but it's so small in detail that to probably ruin the screen down. So see, for example, over here, I already have this one glued, glued in, so the cut needs to be really on point. There's a bit missing there, but I'm going to open up some areas, so it doesn't matter really, and it's really hard to cut this type of detail. So what happens is what happened with that bit over there. And you can see there, there are new gaps over here that I will make, is that in order to add some shine, or lighting into this which I did for example in the Spider-Man commission if you want to go back to to my social media or my patron or the videos at YouTube it's there um, in order to do that you just scrape with uh, the knife scraping is literally just in this case just scraping you cannot force the knife into it otherwise you will just destroy it you start lifting it up and puncturing it and it will destroy the the thing so what you need to do is just for the fingers i'll do it in this direction see the dots will slowly disappear and what will be left is um the transparent bit of the screen tone I have to be careful not to scrape the actual paper because it just ends right here. 
you see this is easier and better for this type of commission for example than to actually cut it as you can see it just vanished and same thing for this hand the, the, the bigger the surface the easier it is to scrape you just insist in the beginning because you have to do it so light in the beginning it seems like you ain't doing anything so the temptation to start doing it with a bit more of strength is um there's a lot of temptation to do that do not ever do that it will just destroy you need to just keep at it slowly and trust the process the thing here of course is that you should you can glue bits of this on a paper and just scrape by to gain the, um, the sensibility to when it's happening and how it's happening so in the chest over here is also supposed to be and this is more of his belly isn't it so this is how i scrape this i'm turning the point around just to filling it out seeing what is the best way to do it you know and this is how you open up areas and this is how i open up that bit over there and i will open up another here another here another here and then i will add some details like some bits over here like this one for example you know it's not so much about lighting itself because this is you never see this is when wouldn't happen but if i do something a bit of a detail like that it just makes the drawing pop up a bit more because on the surface even though the surface is in shadow the reflected light that exists around the place you know will make it so that you have some modulation and you, some elements pop up so i'll do that i will do a bit more to this to this one because these figures just have the top and then i will finish it up we are missing the one two three four five figures and uh that should be relatively quick by now and then i will just scrape a little bit all over the place to make the elements pop a bit okay more soon guys thank you